This is a Boardwalk Audio podcast. The Meat Improv! Welcome to The Meat Improv with me, Jeff Simpson. And me, Jake Jabor. The Meat Improv is, of course, the improv and storytelling podcast where we bring on comedian guests to tell true meaty stories from their lives. And then we do improv inspired by those stories. That's right. Today we have two very special guests Ooh. from the Herald Team Pony, Martha Fernley. Hello. 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 Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> uh, and from Fuck This Week and Woodson. Uh, the mess up team would uh, Lauren, not her name, Canuti. That's her name. That's it. There you go. Uh, thank you for coming thank on you for board. Being <laughs> the You're meat welcome. Oh. <laughs> it's a big ask. Um, well, uh, what to talk about in this, mm. uh, in this day mm. and age? We had to start our recording a little late. The listeners won't care mm-hmm. uh, because I had two Honda auditions today. Two. Two? One I said a, signed an NDA about, so. Uh-oh. We won't know <laughs> You're any busted. of that. Now I want to know so bad. It was nothing. It was almost nothing. Uh, the <laughs> other one was I didn't end up doing because I waited for over an hour. And I, oh, <laughs> I no. <just> left. <laughs> I, can you, I've been told to not audition for some stuff because uh, I came in for one role and then came in again for another and they were like, oh, you can't do that. Oh. But they let you do that. Uh, it was two different casting companies. Mm, one was a callback. One was, you know, not to brag, dear listener, but once in a while, <laughs> I get to drive to Santa Monica <laughs> twice in a week. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, I am really close to just calling it. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I've been, I've been doing commercial auditions for 11 years. I've booked a few non-union things mm-hmm. throughout. I've gotten close on some, like, the one time, the only time I ever, like, my agent called me and was like, you booked it. It was like this Dairy Queen thing that was tied into uh, Jurassic World. <laughs> and Whoa. I was like, like I was on a veil and she said, you booked it. And I was like, oh shit. And I didn't told my parents. And I called my parents right then and I was telling them like, I finally booked a national commercial. And mm-hmm. then in the middle of that phone call, my agent called back and oh. was like, okay, it's not official yet. Uh, oh, <laughs> you're no. back on hold. And I was like, how did that happen? <laughs> Oh. This business is crazy. <laughs> oh. But I think if I were to like tally up the amount of time driving, sitting in an audition room, like all the commercial auditions that I've done that for compared to the money I've made or the money I even could make if I book a national yeah. one, I think it would come out to six bucks an hour. <laughs> Martha <laughs> and, and I actually <clears throat> have run into each other a handful yeah. of times at auditions. I think we are this, like the same type. We are. Oh, Can't you tell? Oh. What, it, it what does it be. say in the description sheet? Oh. Little bun girls. <laughs> Little bun girls. <laughs> tiny, tiny blondes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mine always makes sure to say not too attractive. Same, actually. Mm. Not not too attractive. Yeah. And then it's like improv a must, and I go in there yeah. and there's no lines. <laughs> like, yeah. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> really, really using all my training. Sorry. No one in any other part of the country cares about uh, the world of commercial auditioning, mm. but that's where I'm coming from today. My dad does. He does. He oh, really? saw uh, a Domino's commercial. With Joe Fahey, uh, he, oh, yeah. and I was like, oh, I coach that guy. I don't know why my dad was even telling me about a Domino's <laughs> commercial, but I was like, oh, I coach that guy. My dad was so impressed. Oh, that's it so was cool. like, boy, You've if been only I was in that commercial. Like, <laughs> my dad is just grasping at straws to You've be like. You've been working to get his approval for so long, and he, this was it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I feel like it is hard to like like that's like a tangible thing that comes out of doing improv is mm-hmm. like and so that's what people can like latch on to yeah. it's like oh, okay yeah you got that thing yeah so it's working it's working yeah. there's something yeah <laughs> casey Fay once tweeted something like that where he was like i'm so glad i booked a commercial this year so i don't have to explain to everyone at this wedding what long form <laughs> improv is <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, and he's right <laughs> yeah uh, i'm at every wedding being like <sighs> we do an opening. Have you heard of Amy Poehler? <laughs> <laughs> you start every conversation with yeah. a big sigh. <laughs> yeah, basically. Uh, yeah, I wish there was a better way to explain it. Anyway, yeah. that's that's that was my world today. I think I'm done. Mm-hmm. I think I'm going to call it. Ooh, I think so. Which means my, <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm just done. At least for a little while. Sure. Uh, yeah. 
I've just, I've just, it's, it's run its course for me in terms yeah. of like, I've wasted the whole afternoon. Mm-hmm. I would so much rather be writing or working on mm-hmm. something of my own and like something yeah. that matters a little bit. Not mm-hmm. like, I, I don't know. I think I'm finally reached that point where I'm like, I think I'm going to tell my agent I'm, I'm putting it on hold. All right. Till October. Wow. You heard it here wow. first, meet him. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel about my babysitting job. Yeah. I'm just kind of like, oh, I'm done with this. This is a lot. And yeah, no, thanks. I'm done. <laughs> do you the think do about that is you get paid to go, right? I do mm-hmm. get paid to go. That's true. That is <laughs> the difference. <laughs> is it like a nanny situation or just like occasional I have, weekends? Stuff? I have different families that I okay. rotate and it really is oh. like with all of my improv shows and all of my different families my google calendar is like really a beautiful rainbow yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. what got you into it babysitting yeah uh i was a production <laughs> assistant for years in austin and then i was a costumer and it was so high stress and these old producers were always yelling at me and uh so when i moved here a bunch of people were like we could hook you up with some pa stuff and i was like never again mm. uh, i'd rather be bossed around by little babies mm-hmm. than old men yeah so i pretended that i had experience and <laughs> i didn't <laughs> and, babysitting uh, yeah I with like, like a newborn oh i see because i was gonna say i feel like you can usually just hop in there sure. <laughs> I, I, did. <laughs> I did put a diaper backwards on, on yeah. backwards the first day which is not fine. a big deal truly but the mom was on to me <laughs> from, the, from the beginning yeah <laughs> i feel like every job that i've had has transitioned into babysitting at one point or another <laughs> mm-hmm. they're like you're a woman mm-hmm. look after my child <laughs> yeah <laughs> you mean like separate from the actual job or yeah just every like- every like one uh some jobs more than others but every job i've had has been like i'm at the job and then i'll also look after the child wow <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. um i had the uh inverse of that i used to work with oh that's nice <laughs> <laughs> to be a man uh well oh, to be a man <laughs> <laughs> uh i used to work with kids on probation and mm. um i would like take them to the park or take them to a playground mm. um and often they would not, um, uh, the kids would not look like me at all. And there was a lot of like, should this guy be with these kids? <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, the flip side is like a grown white male at a playground yeah. with <laughs> kids that don't look like him. Everybody's a little like, uh, Can you say something? and rightfully so, um, white men are the problem <laughs> uh, so, uh, they're right to go like i wonder if that guy's up to something bad they generally are um but mm. yeah so it's never here's our kid it's always like mm. yeah <laughs> don't go by near that yeah guy. i remember that I transition see. being from like oh cool kids i can talk to kids i'm good with kids and that's a good attribute that i have mm-hmm. to being mm-hmm. like 25 26 and mm-hmm. being like no one wants me to talk to their kids <laughs> <laughs> Not even in a joking way. <laughs> uh, wow. But I wasn't dying to talk to the kids either, to be honest. But it definitely is like, like if you see some kid screwing around at like an amusement park or in a grocery store and you like tell him a joke or <laughs> like knock knock. <laughs> hey, listen, kid, you want to hear a joke? <laughs> want to hear a joke? People aren't crazy about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but if you say something funny to him or whatever. Yeah. I've definitely had like, you know, I'm just messing around like I would anyways, but I've definitely had parents be like, Okay, yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> even when you walk your dog. Have you ever noticed? No. Huh? Do you have a dog? You do. I do. You have one that looks like ours are Ours are kind of cousins. Uh, yeah, sometimes kids will be, like, fascinated with Dre. I'll usually let them pet. And then, like, but even then, it's like, he'll shake for you. And the parent's like, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I I did it. And then I today I saw another male teacher do this behavior. Uh, sometimes I was working with kids this morning. Um, and sometimes they'll be like, I miss you or hi. And they'll mm. come up and hug you. And, like, I'm always like, okay. Uh, <laughs> and then I saw another male teacher do it today. Like, the girl ran up and was like, yay. And he was like, yeah, <laughs> can't please. Uh, like, it's just this thing of like, no, thank you. Uh, somebody, this is making somebody bummed out. Uh, <laughs> you, but but you get hired. 
Yeah. Yeah. We are encouraged to be around children. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I have gone to playgrounds before to just like sit mm-hmm. and write. <laughs> People <laughs> love it. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten job offers. Uh, oh, my uh, this God. is this is like one of my selling points for me as a person, I think. Um from people who didn't even know I watched kids and like Fergie once asked me to babysit for her. Oh, she did not know. I, I had no experience with kids, <clears throat> but uh, I was a PA on a movie that her husband, I hope they're still together was in. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was crazy. I said, no, I was too nervous. <laughs> yeah. You turned it down. I turned Fergie down. Wow. <laughs> Tweet it. <laughs> it's out now. <laughs> I worked with Fergie once the first time I ever did anything. What? What was it? It was like a spelling bee video for Funny or Die. Because you know how she had that song that was, Fergalicious, did or she like spelled a bunch of words? That, yeah. was, that was the was idea. She, was and I looked young it? enough to be a spelling bee kid. Ooh. Was the thing that she wasn't good at spelling because she was an athletic. I think she sang it. <laughs> yeah, I think, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It, we definitely wanted to bring back the math stuff. <laughs> uh, you know. She also sexed up the national anthem, which is one of my favorites. Yeah. <laughs> have you guys, I think this is her, have you seen that video of her um, doing a flip <laughs> on stage at like, it's some daytime TV show No, where no. she's singing, <laughs> she's singing and she, while she's singing this like really long note, she starts doing, I think, I guess they're like round offs on the stage <laughs> and she maintains the note the whole, like kind of she does her best like the whole time while she's flipping it's worth a google <laughs> <laughs> i yeah. hope that's fergie <laughs> that's i think incredible. yeah it, it must be who else would i have to google be? zhuzh up whatever song she's <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's a zhuzher <laughs> that that performance you know what i'm talking about of the national anthem i don't know sexy national she, anthem sounds fun it was so bad <laughs> it was uh for the nba all-star game that she sang the national anthem i'd love to pull up the audio but we don't have that technology <laughs> yeah. but it really was like a sex step like oh say <laughs> wow <laughs> oh. it was like, to the point that were there, at the end they were showing all the basketball players and they were like Hiding their face. <laughs> They're all blushing. <laughs> yeah. It was pretty embarrassing. She yeah. sexed it up. That is the best way to put it. Improv! Okay, class. Uh, we're going to start with the Pledge of Allegiance. So if everyone could please rise and face the flag. Mm-hmm. Okay. I... Pledge allegiance to the United States of America. Um, Miss Sanders? Yeah? What are you doing? The the Pledge of Allegiance, Johnny. You were kind of laying on your desk. Yes, what? This is... You slowly lay down on your desk and unbutton your top button. Yes. Oh, we just... I wasn't sure if you noticed um, your, your voice kind of sounded like my dad's nighttime movies your da- what uh, what are you da- dad's nighttime movies i'm not allowed to see him but he watches them in the computer room johnny no this is the the pledge of allegiance and look if i need to make you know government a little bit sexier to what? get you guys to pay attention then i will call me a martyr okay we'll okay. start from the top okay oh. okay I pledge allegiance allegiance to to the the naughty, naughty United States. Can I sit down for the rest of this? (laughs) Wait, wait, hang on. Hang on. What's going on? If you're going to continue doing that, I'd just prefer to sit. Calvin, what's going on? (laughs) Nothing. Nothing. Jesus Christ, Calvin, let her keep going. (laughs) I just just don't want to stand for it. Does this matter to you guys at all? Yes yes, 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 very much. Okay. Do you want to learn about oh. America's roots? Uh, uh, I don't. I don't. Are we allowed? Rub some of this Crisco on my back. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, well, it's fu- put your shirt back on. It's not a big deal. I have a cami on. <clears throat> Okay, do you guys just want to... <laughs> Thank you. She said I had to. Stand on a chair if you need to. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Crisco? <clears throat> I'm unsure how I'm feeling right now. <laughs> Kelvin, you flunked a couple grades, so he, he's a, he's developing faster than the rest of us. 
from the top. Okay. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the to naughty the United States of America yeah. and to, to the, the republic, republic for which it stands. I'm sorry, I'm confused. Should I also be taking off my pants? If You know what? If that's going to help you learn the material, do what you need to do. No bikini areas exposed. Okay. All right. I'm not okay. a pervert. One nation <laughs> under, under God. God. With liberty, liberty, liberty and, and justice. justice. For, oh, oh, oh. That sounds like my dad's nighttime movies. <clears throat> Who's ready for math? I'm sleepy. Great. Well, let's move into the meat part of the podcast where we tell meaty stories. Knudy, you're up first. Okay. Uh, what would you like I'm to gonna, share? I'm going to keep it easy breezy. Ooh. I'm going to talk about the period of time right after I graduated college um, mm. where I was kind of figuring it out. <gasps> okay. I had planned on doing advertising. I was doing branding and advertising internships. Uh, and pl- I was planning on moving back home to Columbus because they're kind of an ad mecca. Okay. And really? uh, yeah, they have a lot of fast food restaurants, so oh. also a lot of advertising. Oh. Mm. And I uh, had a voicemail from an ad agency offering me a job with more salary numbers than I've made to date combined. And I was calling them back with every intention of accepting, but then something came over me and I was like, no, I'm going to stay in Austin and um, pursue film. I'm pursuing the film industry. So, and they were like, great. Okay. We don't care. Bye. (laughs) (laughs) And I was like, okay, well now I'm, I don't have a job. (laughs) My friend was like, well, she worked at a, she was the manager at a Segway tour company. So she was like, look, it's not glamorous, but do this. Uh, so I started working at this place called Seg City, uh, and it was owned by this crazy bigot named Ray, uh, (laughs) who was always like, we gotta do more tours to resonate with Austinites. Let's do a gay tour. People love the gays here. And we were always just like, oh, Ray. But, uh, so we would, I would take people, uh, on tours on these quite frankly, dangerous chunks of metal. Mm. <laughs> um, I've always been skeptical of segues. They, because you think that they're I think dangerous? that they're weird and like, uh, <laughs> maybe dangerous, yeah. Well, they do go a whopping 12.5 miles per hour. Okay. That's too fast. That is, it is a little fast for inexperienced, often drunkards would come in. Uh-huh. <laughs> but like... I couldn't, they're classified as personal mobility devices. Oh, so okay. the same thing as a wheelchair. Um, okay. so you can kind of be <laughs> wasted on a segue. Right? <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. The creator of the segue died on a segue, yes. right? But, uh, in the segue community, we think it was a suicide. Really? Yeah. Oh, I think that i that. I think that makes sense to all communities. I think, <laughs> Wait, but that's so funny that there's, is there a Segway community? Oh, I'd say so. Yeah. And are you in the, the inner helm. circle? Are you with the helm? <laughs> I, there was a time. Uh, oh, is that, is that true? That, that he did. He did yeah. die. The, I just going off of a like small cliff. <laughs> I saw a small one. I just saw something on HBO sports where they were talking <laughs> to the guy who I think they said invented the Segway. <laughs> He's alive. Oh, wait. Okay, is well, he alive? I was telling my tours <laughs> that he killed himself. Uh, that's something so, I've heard too. Yeah, I, I heard will it too, say. But then I was like, he lives. Part of my whole thing Sorry. as a tour guide uh, was I didn't really read a lot of the scripts um, mm-hmm. about like the historical tours. I also did this in college. I was a tour guide, and I would I didn't read up on what I was supposed to, so sure. I would just kind of talk about what I would do in the buildings and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and like, <laughs> you know, um, so I also did that as a Segway tour guide. Um, I I liked the history, and I've got some. Ooh, spicy Austin history stories for after oh. we record. But oh, <laughs> put, them on the, put them on the record. Um, <laughs> but so I was um, giving this one tour to a um, 
a, like a 13 year old girl came in with her grandmother who was turning 70 and lots of old people <coughs> got on segways. Also, a lot of people would come in and they'd be like, I'm going to be sore after this. This is a workout. And I just let them. I was like, yeah, <laughs> but it's not. You're just standing. standing. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> so anyway, this 70 year old woman, Ruth, uh, it was her birthday. And, uh, so I took everybody on this big tour. It was like a whole group of people and I give the safety demonstration up top and I do say, keep a two foot safety bubble. Okay. Mm. If anything touches your, your Segway wheels, it's like a bicycle wheel and the other one won't know it'll keep going and whatever you do, don't let go of the machine. Uh, so we're on Mm -hmm. Congress, (laughs) which is a very busy Avenue in downtown Austin. (laughs) And, uh, just really zipping along. Uh, we had just passed my favorite monument, Angelina Eberly. You should look her up. She's a really bad bitch. And she's kind of the reason Austin is in Austin because she, Sam Houston was the president of the Republic of Texas at the time. I'm rambling. No, I like, no this is <laughs> great. <laughs> so, and he wanted Houston to be the capital. So he sent some of his guys in the night to go take the Capitol archives. But Angelina Eberly ran an inn, kind of a sex inn. <laughs> and a brothel. A brothel. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she heard the commotion. So she ran out in her nightgown one night, saw what was going on and lit the town cannon. And she didn't kill anyone, but she shot off onto Sam Houston and all of his boys running away on horses with the Capitol archives and she caused oh. enough of a stir that the whole town woke up and they caught sam houston what? and they were like what's the deal buddy why are you stealing from your own place uh and he was like i was merely testing the resolve to make sure the Capitol archives were safe here good mm. job but you passed <laughs> uh, seems like he was messing with texas Seems like he was messing. You know, that (laughs) is actually an anti-litter campaign. Really? Don't mess with Texas originated as a... An anti-litter campaign. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm just the worst. No, no, no this um, is great. I, w- I like to imagine that some of our meatheads out there are in Austin right now on a Segway. Yeah. Yes, listening to, this, <laughs> listening to this, having their own little private Don't tour. Don't let go of the machine. Don't. Whatever you do, <laughs> to foot safety of the bubble. Machine. Yes. So uh, anyway, I just told them about Angelina Eberly, who and she because she was holding a little. It's a statue of her, and she's holding this like fuse to light the cannon with. Kids were always like, "It's Harry Potter. She's got a wand." Oh my god. Um, But it wasn't Harry Potter. So (laughs) anyway, um, we're zipping down Congress, feeling good. It's Ruth's 70th birthday. And then we're crossing a street in the middle of rush hour. And, well, she isn't paying attention to the safety bubble. And she knocks into the Segway in front of her. She panics. She lets go of the machine. (laughs) (laughs) Two rules broken. Two rules broken. I'm in front of them. (laughs) I'm in front of them. Um, so I just kind of like hear something and look back and catch the tail end of this, but she lets go falls completely like 90 degree angle backwards. So like lands on her back and head Uh. in the middle of a street, uh, on South. And I had like, we, we could have up to 10 people on a tour. Uh Um, and, uh, her, but the segue will keep going for another 15 feet, which is part of the reason you're not supposed to let go of it. So she what? fell off. I was like, she's dead. She's for sure dead. I just killed someone. Um, and then her segue went careening into oh this God. other woman, just a passerby. No. Not, oh, segue. not someone on a segue tour. She was just like walking walking down the street and she was hit with a segue and it oh, hit her gosh. in the ankle and she was like screaming and in a lot of pain and then this woman ruth wasn't dead thank god she was actually kind of a trooper um everybody had to wear helmets we had this rival segue company <laughs> called seg revolution <laughs> and their guides didn't wear helmets and uh we would get drunk at this bar next to their offices sometimes <laughs> and i would nice. Uh, walk up to the guys <laughs> doing tours and I'd be like well where's your helmet don't you need a helmet it seems dangerous uh, <clears throat> but yeah um, so we did all get back safely it was okay the woman who was hit by a segue who had no you know intention of seeing one that day mm. did call the office repeatedly for a long time but our crazy bigot man or owner was like just don't answer don't oh my answer. god say nothing <laughs> that so is we never crazy. answered um 
<laughs> but uh, it's okay. I I had a pretty good reputation. I I uh, would write up some Yelp reviews for myself every now and again. <laughs> so. Um, Good call. Uh, like I used my friend's out? Yelp account, okay. and wow. created some new email addresses, <laughs> and was like, "Boy, our guide, the little blonde girl, can't remember her name. She was so great, <laughs> so much history." <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh, and then I broke my finger falling off of one like that same week, um, <laughs> and this hot motorcyclist was coming by and saw the whole thing happen, and I was like sobbing and outside of the. Ooh, and sexy. Then it was very sexy <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but then i uh it was pretty injured so i was like i have to go to physical therapy for it um and i went two different times but i couldn't keep going back because the guy sitting next to me both times <coughs> was like had really like broken his back and was like just learning to like move his legs and like picking up marbles with his toes and i was like had a broken finger and couldn't keep sitting next to him and (laughs) so it was the same guy both times it was the same guy but it was like the same appointment oh and you did did you just walk in you're like i can't i I can't do this really (laughs) (laughs) can you find another doctor i know yeah Uh, finger back to normal uh not when it's cold but oh for the most part yeah it hurts like it just yeah, kind of whatever. It's just a finger. It's I'm sure. pretty tough. <laughs> I get that with my hand. I broke my hand. But when it's cold, it's like, okay, it's it's barking. Yeah. Uh, I've definitely bit. gotten the most injuries that I have on my body on my hands. Like I broke my finger and now it bends Ooh, backwards whoa. in a really oh messed up way. Goodness. And then I drunkenly cut myself with a knife on this finger and I have a Ooh. hefty scar. That's so, a scar. Yeah. makes sense that your hands are. Yeah, I, mean, like I think your so. First tool. That's like what, what you're, yeah. you're sticking it in stuff. And like, yeah. <laughs> I still don't know how to use it. <laughs> um, you, I can't imagine this is going to be the most fun part of the story. But why do you keep calling that guy a bigot? Mm. Well, yeah, I mean, the big thing was that he kept uh, pitching a gay tour, and also, which we were all like, like, "What is that?" Is, um, did he I elaborate? Think the, av- the average listener would be like, "That sounds." Like he's made, trying to be inclusive, but he was trying to profit off of it. Then it's a little yeah, different. Yeah, like he was like, people in Austin love gay people. Let's do a gay tour. Um, and then he, yeah, I, I don't know. He just like, he had like a young um, black girlfriend and he was kind of like weird about, the, mm-hmm. I don't know. It seemed, it seemed weird. He was honestly never around and I did my best to avoid him. I seem like a great employee, but I... <laughs> I'm, I'm always avoiding mm. the boss and not learning <laughs> my mm-hmm. scripts. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, did you, why did you quit? What did you, when? I started working as a production assistant. Uh, okay. Um, I started working on a feature film uh, and there was like a, my first movie as a PA, there was like this crazy diva actress. I'm not going to say any names, but, uh, oh. and so I went from like being a, Segway tour guide to then like cutting up avocado for a woman uh, while it was in her lap, and I was just like, "What weird?" In her lap, it was honestly <laughs> weird. But That's I was just dangerous. like, "I think she was hitting on you." <laughs> I freaking wit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I had like just I I worked so hard in college and was like Phi Beta Kappa and really like I don't know. It I just felt really like disillusioned and uh, working as a Segway tour guide. It's pretty fun sometimes, but also you're like, why did I just pay to go to a liberal arts university for four yeah. years? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, that either. I don't know. I don't that. know. Yeah. <laughs> None of us know. All right. So welcome to this week's support group uh, for people who have had harrowing injuries. Um, it's good to see you back here, Alan. Thank you. I know it's hard to, with the full body burns. Yes. Um, to really make it out sometimes, but we always appreciate your your smiling face here. And I appreciate the group. Yes, we do. Um, Christy, you, Hi. you would have uh, paralyzed from the waist down. Mm-hmm. 
We are, I, why am I recapping everyone's injuries? No, it's helpful. Sharing. I think we should do this at the top of yeah, every meeting. Because, yeah, yeah. um, um, you know, you can forget. Assume. Yes. Exactly. Never assume about another's injury. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, I'm sorry, well, canoe tea? Mm-hmm. Like canoe like the boat, tea like the drink. Uh-huh. Um, I've, you're a first timer, I think. Yes. So, what was... I... Um, forgive my... <laughs> We don't assume. Eyes. We don't like, assume here. Assume. Yes, yes, yes. We don't assume. I got a horrifically bad splinter from a cutting board oh. last week, uh. and it shook me. It's already out? It's out, thank God. <laughs> was it in your eyeball or... Close. It was right in my index finger, <laughs> and I was cutting an apple... Okay. You slipped the knife. Uh, I didn't slip the knife. I cut the apple fine. Okay. Uh, oh. But then I was washing the cutting board afterward. Did you slip? Uh, and it just, I didn't slip then either. Um, oh, I slipped. Oh. We'll talk about me later. Yeah. Um. I mean, why don't you guys? No. Yeah, let's just carry on with the meeting. I don't, I don't want to. I'm sure that could be. Mm, traumatic in some yeah. way. And the orphans you were feeding the apple to, did they get yeah. it? Or I assume it was for orphans. Or- <laughs> it was for myself. <laughs> but uh, okay. but <laughs> I, I'm fine with orphans. Yeah, yeah. we all are. Okay. So let's talk about this week. Um, I know the 4th of July was this last week. Oh. Um, I know sometimes those sort of family events or when you see people you haven't seen for a while, I know that can kind of stir up some sure. um, mm-hmm. memories or you have to talk about your injuries. I was injured on the 4th of July. Oh, yeah. Again? Uh, oh. No, my original injury, the burns came yeah. from the 4th of July. Oof. Boy. So how was that this time around? I'm well, assuming you stayed away from fireworks. I stayed away from fireworks and... Um, Pet hospitals that mm. could go up in flames. Yeah. <clears throat> Did you have any conversations that were hard for you at all? Or? Yes. Um, people try not to bring it up. They bring it up. It's one of those. It's difficult. You know, I'll piggyback on that because I also <laughs> have a difficult experience when people bring up like wood. So uh-huh. if someone, for example, is like, knock on wood. Uh-huh. Then I'm thinking about my harrowing experience with the splinter. When did you have, do you don't mind if I ask, when did you get the splinter? This was last week. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, so someone made a knock-knock joke in the past week. Can you not, right? Yeah. I'm, oh, uh, I apologize. Uh, okay. <sighs> I thought this was a support it is, it is a support group. It seems that maybe what the difficulty here is, I'm sorry, was it? Something about a rowboat. Canoe, like the boat, tea, yeah. like the drink. Okay, canoe tea. Um, is that these are severe life-changing injuries. Uh, Alan right. is burnt. He has scars for the rest of his life. Mm-hmm. Um, Christy's not going to be able to move my her, legs. Her legs. Yeah, and I will never look at a cutting board the same. So I'm really happy to have all of us here supporting each other through this. You can buy sliced fruit. Oh, yeah. or get a plastic cutting board. <laughs> Both of those are options. Wow, yeah. I have a plastic cutting board. Yeah, I, you know, uh, I don't love passive aggression, so I, maybe I'll just say what we're all thinking, which is, I don't think that you should be here. <laughs> um, everything you've said is not a serious injury. Um, uh, both of us have lifelong traumas that we're mm-hmm. going to have to live with. Do you know um, how hard it is to ignore wood? <laughs> It's everywhere. It's pretty easy for me being blind. Okay. <laughs> not, not even a blind. shark ate his eyes. What? Yeah. Not only is he blind, he'll never think of sharks the same way. Yeah. Do you know how many shark oh. movies are coming out this summer? The Meg. Meg. Jaws 3, I assume. <laughs> Sharknado 6. Okay. okay. That's enough shark <laughs> references. <laughs> One thing I can't watch the movies is- <laughs> Second, sorry, 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 sorry. It's not great. <laughs> yeah, okay. Maybe. Yeah, shark ate my eyes. Plucked them right out. Well, at least you survived. 
Yeah. At least I did survive. I don't mean to get heated here, but you're talking about an everyday injury. Oh, should we say our affirmation? Maybe yes. Calm us all down. Eve. Okay, even though an accident happened to me, I am not an accident myself. I will live with purpose. Permanent. No, I will. I'm sorry, I messed it up. I will live with permanent reminders. Permanent reminders. Yet purpose. Yet purpose. Yet purpose. All right. What's your permanent reminder? Oh, um, my permanent reminder uh, of just why I'm living or what's... No, no the, your the injury. Injury. Oh, oh my God. Uh, well, I guess every time I look at wood, every time I look at fruit, anytime I look at a knife, I'm, anytime I'm asked to prepare a meal, I'll, I'll have nom-style flashbacks oh. back to this. Oh, oh you're a chef. No. It, I'm going to fight her. Actually, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I can yeah. actually take my segue onto this flight. Um, it's a personal mobility vehicle. Um, it's the same thing as a wheelchair, so it's actually fine. I, I think you'll find. Uh, look, I don't want to. It just seems like a... It seems like a scooter. It's a big, giant, bulky scooter. A scooter? A scooter? Do you know how fast this thing goes? I don't. 12.5 miles per hour. Okay. That almost feels like a vehicle. That's not a mobility device. That's a vehicle. It's a mobility device because I have uh, weak arms, sir. I have weak arms (laughs) and below average legs. Below average legs. So I don't actually... Yeah, I have a note from my doctor. It's right here. Okay. I'm filming this, by the way. <laughs> this is just like United. Giving okay. Yes, with thank okay. you. Whoop. No, no, no. Thank you, Sorry. ma'am. No, you are this not. is exactly no, like that. Say hi thank to YouTube. You. No. Randall. Please leave my name out of it. Look, I was just following protocol. If it's a mobility device, I will we'll find a way to store it. Right? I have a mobility device, too. My hoverboard. Yeah, Mm-mm-mm. you should let her on the plane with that, no, too. No, I can't. It's a mobility device. I, that's an incredible machine you have in front of you. I've never seen one. I can assure you that shouldn't be on the... Uh, you shouldn't have it on the plane. It's just... Oh God, the ignorance. It's just like a Segway, but without the handlebars. It's for people who have better arms. She's got little lights on it, and it's playing uh, Black Eyed Peas. Yeah. Would you get angry at a man who came on with a wheelchair with lights on it? Maybe a speaker. No. Would you? Would you, Randall? No. Would no. You? Get yes, that get this. Get, get this. your phone out I'm of getting my... all of it. I am no. getting all of this. Okay. Uh, can you just hand them to me and I will carry them and then you can just walk to your seats? I, it, it's going to... The plane, those are big, bulky uh, transportation items. I want to ride my Segway to my seat. To your seat? I, I would to like ride. to float to my seat. Uh, oh. <laughs> they let us through security. Obviously, we're at the gate. They let us through Starbucks. Th- those aren't. Uh, I mean, they're not weapons, obviously. And a Starbucks is not how Delta measures their uh, procedures. Uh, fine, Delta, you're united. I'm united. <laughs> oh, and let me guess. United you got fired takes- from Delta for a similar insensitive no. incident. No, I did get fired from. I did get fired for a similar incident. Uh, yeah, not everything is a mobility device. <laughs> cut to United. <laughs> cut to Delta. <laughs> I'm sorry, Delta. Cut to Delta. <laughs> no, that's just a giant ball that you're bouncing on. I want to get on it no, and bounce it you, to my seat. You can't sir. bounce it to your seat. We can't have you bounce it It has up a pony head. It has a pony head and handlebars, and I want to bounce it to my seat like a big baby. <laughs> that takes more work than walking. You've got to jump up and down. Why? How is that a mobility device? My ankles device? are bad. 
I've got a child's Jeep with a gun in it. <laughs> what is the matter with you? <laughs> you don't. Well, the gun. The gun is the problem. It, it clears the way faster. It's part of my mobility. <laughs> that is bananas, sir. You can't ride a child's Jeep with a gun in it. Someone. I hope someone's filming this. Don't worry. I'm getting don't it. Don't film this. No. You've. Uh, no. You can't. Uh, you can't bounce your way in. You can't drive that power. Ranger. Power? Uh, whatever. Power it's Rangers of... Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, no. At least get your terminology what, That's right. a Power no. Ranger back there. <laughs> <Well, laughs> that's not even a device, sir. You can't bring that on at all. I can't bring a... a I can't bring... A, a, a suit? Power, what? A Power Ranger suit? I think I can. I think... Listen, the TSA agents at security were very chill about all this, Okay. What the fuck is going on over here? He said, fuck. Wow, That's Randall, fine. why don't Nobody you cares. say it to the camera? <laughs> the, that, this is TSA's problem. Go. They shouldn't be letting everybody on. I'm trying to protect for everybody's safety. Spirit Airlines years later. This is after United. <clears throat> a crocodile isn't a lot. I bought it a seat. <laughs> is- you, you're not even riding it. <laughs> not now. <laughs> What about no, my no. shark? <laughs> that should be in water. It ate my husband's eyes. <laughs> How? Oh, that's awful. I, why are you keeping the shark around? Don't judge the shark. The I'm shark not, doesn't know any better. You device. are on <laughs> live this is on unbelievable. Twitch. <laughs> a live on Twitch. Look, I'm just. You can't bring live animals on. Okay. Uh, okay. Tell that to the person with the dog. This is emotional support gator. <laughs> emotional support gator? What? <laughs> yes, I'm here with my dog and I want to ride it to my seat. <laughs> that is a small dog. She can take it. This is unbelievable. No, you can't bring these animals on. Optimus Prime, you're not coming on this plane. <laughs> you, <laughs> you are a... Just fly. Get there on your own. Wow. Wow. What? Wow. Wow, you're going to hear from Big Transformer about this. <laughs> I came in uh, for the interview to tell you that I... Won't be taking the position because I'm going to pursue my dreams. Uh, okay. You in can, Austin, you know where the door is. Um, I'm was, going to pursue my dreams. It was really nice so, meeting you, Jake. Thank you so much. I will not be convinced. Okay. Yeah, that's that's fine. Um, I totally understand. Sometimes you think branding is for you, and then you choose a different path. <laughs> Um, I am an artist who can't be confined to a box, so don't try and stop me. Are you Thank trying you. to convince yourself <laughs> of something? Or? I have potential. <laughs> okay, buddy. Yeah. I have potential, and no amount of pointing out my strengths will keep me here. <laughs> Great. Well, yeah, Falgren would have been really happy to have you, but... It's not going to happen, and that's okay. <laughs> You'll um, have to tell Mr. Falgren that he can't get any of this sweet, sweet action. Uh, uh, Beth, <laughs> if you could show Jake to the front door. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you'll just come with me, sir. Oh, a perk package? I don't think so. <sighs> that's not... No, sir. I'm on my way out of here. <laughs> Great. So it's just you, down here, sir. It's just you down can't. the hall. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I assume you're taking me into some room to show me how. McDonald's is a, a brand. Coca-Cola is a brand. How we'll make Jake Jabor a brand. I won't hear it. (laughs) I'm a guy with skills and charisma. So if you need to throw that water bottle away, there's a recycling bin right there. And uh... This was given to me, I assume, as a bribe. And I drank it, but I won't be staying. That's fine. That's really fine. Um, I've actually, I've got another appointment. I hear Five you. Minutes, okay, so. great. I d- ordered a sandwich, and once I eat, it, once it's delivered, and I eat it, I'll be out of here on my way to a life as a free spirit. Cut to a film set. Slice up the avocado on my lap. <laughs> Slice it up. <laughs> Slice it up, hot shot. <laughs> I feel like I should really do this on the table. Do it on my lap. <laughs> With nothing do it on but the, the shell. I should do it on the No, do it on the... (laughs) Mr. Spielberg! (laughs) Yep. This PA isn't uh, slicing the avocado how I like it. Jake, slice Tyra Banks' avocado (laughs) or get out. (laughs) 
slice it how I like it. Okay. It's a privilege for you to slice on my lap. I am slicing it, rolling it, split it open, take the pit out, cut it into slices. <laughs> scoop. Where do you want me to scoop it? <laughs> Mr. Spielberg. <laughs> Yes. Don't stop did, it. Did, did nobody here show the assistants uh, how I like my avocado served? Jake, you chew that avocado up and spit it into Tyra Banks' mouth like she's a baby bird or you're out of here. <clears throat> you know, I turned down a, a hefty package as a branding guy. <laughs> We cut to a parking lot. Uh, uh, is there a PA around? I, I need somebody to uh, pick up my dog's shit. My dog just shit, so. Jake, I'm a you... PA. Great, yeah. Uh, I just need my dog, you know, I gotta get to set in a uh, second. So if you could okay, just do Okay, do you have a baggie? No, you're the PA. This is your job. Uh, I'm a free spirit. I've got potential. <laughs> I just Ew, don't touch it with your hand. Uh, uh, what? I F- don't find a napkin or something I thought. <laughs> okay. Napkin. And then I uh, you want it in your lap. Right, uh, so let's get back into the meat part of the podcast. Thank you for sharing your segue tour story. <laughs> you're very welcome. Uh, Martha, you're up. What would you like to talk about? Um, I want to talk about a uh, the time that I found my boss's coat in Florida. Okay. Um, I was working... <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> I was working for a contemporary art gallery um for the first year after i graduated college um and the my boss flew to florida i think for for an art fair i don't remember which one but she was in florida for like i want to say like a week and she came back and i was like back in my job for a couple of days and she came up to me she was like i forgot to tell you this but um i left i left my coat in florida somewhere between my airbnb and Los Angeles. <laughs> and I was and like, she didn't say it like that, but the way she said it was like, it could be in the Uber. It could be in the airport. It could be on the plane. I don't know, but I need you to find it. She was like, it's really expensive. It's like Isabel Morant. It's like, I was like, uh, okay. And I kind of in my head was like, yeah, it's not going to happen. It's <laughs> like, no, I'm not going to find this coat. Yeah. Like I'll try to find it and like make some calls or whatever. And then I'll be like, sorry, no coat. Um, so I tried that and, um, my (laughs) man, like, uh, the director of the gallery took me aside and she was like, Hey, like, um, you know, she's really, uh, she's not happy. Like you haven't tried to find this at all. Like what's, what's the deal? Like what's the progress on this? And I was like, Oh, uh, I don't, I made some calls. Like I didn't, I don't know. And she was like, well, okay. Can you like, you know, everything else is on the back burner. You need to do this. What? And I was <laughs> like, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I guess this is all I'm doing. And I was, so at first I tried, like, I called the Uber driver. She, every time I went straight to voicemail, I called, like, I tried to get in touch with Uber. Uber does not have a phone line at all. They just don't have a number. Really? Like Mm-mm. for customer service? No. You have to go through uh, their website. And that's not really maintained like people don't really check up on it and so i had to go i resorted to tweeting and dming uber on twitter and on instagram and like all of these like different social media sites like facebook um and i started doing the same thing for the florida airport this like the dallas fort worth (laughs) airport the airline she flew which i think was like united or something maybe that's from earlier but i did that i um 
had sometimes like the only way to get in touch with them was by writing reviews on their Facebook pages. So I have a bunch, if you look back at my Facebook history, just like a bunch of like one star <laughs> reviews for all of these places. Cause I was trying to get their attention. <laughs> and then me being like, my boss left her coat on your plane. <laughs> like, what do I do? Just like poking at every possible thing. And I did this, I would say for a month, it was like easily a uh, three weeks to a month of me. Whoa harassing all these different I got it got to the point where I was like becoming familiar with the woman who was the like phone conduit to a lost and found warehouse in uh like Fort Worth oh no my god this is I this is in Texas Texas. wait where am I thinking of Fort Lauderdale Fort Lauderdale yeah 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 um and so I was like on the phone and then so after a month I like Decided to try and get back in touch with the Uber driver again because I was like, maybe somehow she'll like pick up her phone or something. And I called first ring. She's like, hello. And I was like, oh, hi, I've been trying to get in touch with you. Um, I think that my boss left her coat in your car. Uh, I don't you know, you probably don't remember. And she was like, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember her. Uh, it's an Isabel Morant coat. Yeah, it's been in my trunk for a month. <laughs> um yeah, she had a kid with her. I remember her. Yeah. Uh, what? Do you need it? And I was like, yes, like I need it. And I like got it back. And I was like so proud of myself. And like, I think I like, I don't, I don't know. I was like, it was like the proudest moment of my life that I had successfully retrieved this. I had her send it to me, like paid for the postage, like felt like a real adult and I got it back. And of course, like my boss is like, oh, Thank God, you know, it's been cold. And then that was it. That was like, <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, it was great. Yeah. Uh, did that, it's, this is kind of weird, but did that change sort of how you feel about things getting lost now or thing where it's like, well, you can find it. Like, uh, uh, it, yeah, it kind of made me realize that if you like harass, this is a weird takeaway, but like harass someone enough or like (laughs) stay at something long enough, like something's going to happen. Yeah. You know? Uh, And I actually like, it kind of inspired me because I had a boss that um, I had worked at a (laughs) boutique like a year before that, where the, my boss had not paid me and he was like a total crook and like had like not paid any of his employees for a long time. And I, after that just started requesting him on Venmo like every day. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and he paid me. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. wow, yeah. One time mm-hmm. I couldn't find a friend at a party, so I kept giving him ten cents at a time on Venmo, and that got his attention too. So how much money did you get up to? Just like a dollar. It was okay. <laughs> no big deal. But he wasn't texting you back. He wasn't responding to me. He was hooking up with someone. Oh, and his <laughs> but then once he received a dollar, making money for his, <laughs> yeah. you were rewarding him for hooking up. Good job. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> what an amazing little scam there. Did, how long did you uh, uh, work for that? Just a year, you said. Yeah, I was just there for a year. What were you, did you have your like roots in the arts world or was that just the kind of... No, I had interned for them like two years previous and then it was like, I was still, I had like gone along well with everybody. So I just emailed her when I got back. What kind of art? Like, I don't want to get to, but if you don't want to oh, no, share no, details, no. I would give it away. I'm just kind of curious, like I don't know nothing about like actual art galleries and art. It's fine. It's like a, it was a very, it was a commercial art gallery. So it's like we, it would, it's like the, you, blah, 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 blah. Um, it was very small. So the owner and the directors would like deal to collectors directly. Um, and so basically it was like once every two months we'd put up a show of like a small roster of artists. Mm -hmm. And then off of that show, people would like ideally buy the art. And it's also a way to like, uh, get artists better known. Um, and it was mostly, it was a lot of paintings. Um, although one, one show that we had that was truly just like a crazy experience to work was, um, it was like a fashion show and she was this like musician and an artist and she put on a fashion show, but everything was supposed to be temporary. So she made all of these clothes that were like out of crepe paper (laughs) and it was, 
It was just bonkers. The entire gallery turned into like a fashion runway, but no one in the gallery had ever produced a fashion show. (laughs) So people had to learn how to like hire models and like hire a photographer (laughs) and a videographer and how to light a fashion show. And the gallery staff was four people. So it was You put on a fashion show? We put on a fashion show. Yeah. Damn. It was When you say temporary, like the clothes aren't meant to be worn again or they were meant to like fall off while they were walking. Hmm. Listen, I don't understand art art either. (laughs) (laughs) I said if your comedy sucks, you can just call it art. (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah. I'm an artist. Well, you didn't laugh. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? (laughs) (laughs) It's Um, a very interesting takeaway. You didn't think it was funny. (laughs) It was definitely funny to like tell my coworkers that I did improv on the side. Yeah. Definitely got a I think. Did they think that that was, were they like, we don't get it. (laughs) Yeah, they were all German. (laughs) (laughs) We don't get it. We don't get it. Um, They were all like nice, but I was, they were clearly just like, I don't, I don't know what that is. Like, it was not part of the same sphere at all. Is it like just, like, it seems to me like you mentioned art collectors. They would have to be like the richest people in the world or. (laughs) Oh my God. So wealthy and i'm such a dummy like i can't i have like no there's i think there you have to have this part of your brain if you work and like with rich people where you can recognize what type of rich person they are Mm. Uh and i have no idea so like the director of mocha walked in one day and i was like are you from here? <laughs> Mocha. And he didn't even oh, look like the, the contemporary museum. art museum here. I was thinking of like movies like Moana. <laughs> the guy from Moana came in. <laughs> the Rock. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I'm blind. I have yeah, no yeah, idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so that person came in. And- I, I offended him. Okay. Because you didn't know who he was. I didn't know who he was. Give me some other types of rich people. Um. The Oh, I feel. Yeah. The Marciano people, I guess. The, they oh, have okay. the Marciano Foundation as well in the that like old Masonic temple. Okay, oh. like they would like it's, old money. I thought you I meant types know. of rich people, like like well, there's the the young artist that just stumbled into. Yeah, a it is kind of like there's, that. It's like it, recognize whether someone's an artist, a collector, works for a museum, works for another gallery. Uh huh. Um, whether they're like from LA or not. Like it was a lot of that kind of filtering that I just like didn't have. Yeah. I'm also like not, I don't know. I'm like, uh, not a great conversationalist when people like come into it. Cause it's, it was just like this giant white cube and I would be at this like <laughs> tiny desk at the end <laughs> and they would open it and I'd be like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's bad. I used to, tile floors in luxury homes uh and you would get like weird rich people Mm -hmm. um the one guy he was having his home built and he wanted a bunch of trap doors in case they (laughs) escape uh so he had a bunch of trap doors built into this huge house uh and then i worked for this woman who owned part of the black forest in germany she had like crazy amount of money. Whoa. Uh, and we had to, she had a whole room that was for her dolls that we had to build. Um, and she had like <laughs> uh, a wall of steins that she'd collected and a, a ship in a bottle that was made from chicken bones from some prisoner. Oh, uh, a prisoner? Yeah. Like <laughs> they kept the chicken bones and like, yeah, he like so, uh, he was in prison for so long. He like <clears throat> kept the chicken bones from his meals and then carved it into a little ship and then put it in a bottle. And and she had it. Yeah. And then went to this rich lady. <laughs> he went to this rich lady. She's like, I put it on my desk and I look at it and I know that it was so sad. When I made it. <laughs> That's pretty accurate. Uh, yeah. She had a bath. T- she had a swimming pool put into her bathroom. Sure. Uh, yeah. And then, uh, uh, it was like her custom built house. Um, and somehow you so were insane. doing this. <laughs> yeah, I was doing the tiles. Uh, <laughs> and then she like, she like died four months after the house oh. was finished. No, that is isn't that the wild? most like tragic irony. <laughs> it was like I've a ever... perfect, like the room for her dolls was like custom no. built to keep all her dolls. It was like her custom built perfect house. And she was in it for maybe like four months. Hopefully maybe she was buried with her. Maybe dolls. the fact that 
her house was finished meant she could yeah. finally die. <laughs> Maybe yeah. that's what was keeping yeah. her alive. Maybe. Yeah. She had a husband who had no say in what the house looked like. <laughs> oh. So now he lives in it. He has to live in it. <laughs> I'm talking real shit. I'm talking Josh. Yeah. Um, Martha's not too thrilled about how hard you looked for her jacket. What? Really? She left it over here at a party. At a, at the, <laughs> I don't feel like I feel Prove. like I looked around. It's not here. Maybe it's in the Uber. Prove yourself. <laughs> I don't need to. Prove yourself. I just. I'm going to give you. The the jack-in-the-box receipt from when she got food later. That's your clue. (laughs) Hey, I got like a bunch of stuff to do. Uh, Prove yourself. I don't need... Martha's just a friend of ours, right? Like like she just came to the party. Do you want somebody to go on this journey with you? What? Do you need companionship on this journey? I'm not going on a journey. I've got a dwarf, an elf. (laughs) <laughs> what are you doing this for? One of us only lies and one of us only tells the truth. Pick me. <laughs> That's the dwarf. Okay. Do you want this job? Take one. Who should I pick? <laughs> me. I know where the jacket is, but am I lying or telling the truth? I know where the jacket is. I can help you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's telling the truth. <laughs> You gotta work on your game, Elf. That was really easy to see through. The person telling the truth wouldn't say, "Am I telling the truth?" <laughs> they would oh, insist that they man. were. But gotta be a good. Mm. What? She was the one who gave, told you what the two people do. So, was so if I she's lying? lying. Then maybe neither of them tell the truth. Oh, pick me! Where'd you get a dwarf <laughs> and an elf? By the way, <laughs> this is don't hey, get caught up just, in that. Just honestly, like you play the uh, whatever D anD D or whatever you your board games or whatever you he do. He conjured us. He conjured you. Yeah, uh, we're both children that he babysit. No, <laughs> you, but am I them. telling the truth? Yeah. Hey, I don't want to play this game, man. I'm trying to like write in Take my room. Take this cloak. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, go find that jacket. God damn it! All right, I'll take you. Shotgun. There's no, not even competing for it. Uh, uh, hop on in. Cut to Jack in the Box. What am I even doing? You hey. shall not pass. I, I can't come in the door. You shall not pass. Let me in the door. I have a question. Are you buying food? No, I have. We a get question. a lot of loiterers in here. I'm not. You gotta get out of here. Did your parents give you any money for the day? <laughs> no, they didn't give me any money for God the day. Damn it! I don't need to be getting jack in the box. I'm on a diet. I'm trying to eat oatmeal every morning. Do you We've got some that? fresh, uh, healthy options. No, you don't. <laughs> You get a grilled chicken sandwich. Wasn't this the place where like pe- someone didn't wash their hands and a bunch of kids died in the 90s? Yes. <laughs> What's your point? Doesn't seem too cleanly to me. Jared, is cleanly that guy doesn't eating? Mean Jared? No, he's hey, not. Did, did any of you find a jacket here a couple of nights ago? Mm. Let me. Do you have a description of the jacket? No. Fuck. <laughs> 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 Oh, a jacket? Oh, sorry. Hi, uh, Stacy, manager. Did yeah. you ask about a jacket? Yes, I guess it was left here uh, t- one thirty a.m. Mm. on Saturday. Mm. I guess Sunday morning, technically. Mm. Jared, mm. Jared, give yes. him the clue. Okay, he's made it this far. Okay, I'm not usually in a quest. There's some. I guess this is the now you are huh? in a quest. Here you go. That is the address of a club that's under a bridge. That's where Martha went after the check in the box. Uh, can I just tell Martha this? <laughs> Come on, let's go under that bridge together. <laughs> to a club under a bridge? Fine. <sighs> just if I get this jacket, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Cut to the under the bridge. I'm just a, looking for a troll. Oh, a <laughs> warlock. A head. Okay. A warlock's head. A head. <laughs> oh, a warlock oh. head. Oh, God, Hello? that's just a dead head. <laughs> oh, gosh. Jesus Christ, what kind of bridge is this? Let's go, come on. Hey, stay with me. Uh, what is Don't forget here? the clue. <laughs> I got it. The head. <laughs> no, the, 
<laughs> head. Take the head. I'm not taking what the fuck. Martha was seen dancing with this man while he still had a head. <sighs> <sighs> God dang it. We gotta Except find by the jacket. hair. Uh, hey, we, we do not have to find the jacket. I still haven't gotten your name. Oh, Morkel. Morkel? <laughs> One of the kids, Jake babysit. Okay. Uh, hi. Warlock. Hello. 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 I have a head. <laughs> Just told this is part of it. If it's not, forget this. I'm looking for a jacket. Friend Martha was here. Maybe it's in I guess your... after my party, which is kind of rude. What? Grocery? <laughs> <laughs> is it inside that grocery heart cart you have? Oh, uh, what kid? Oh, maybe this the is jacket's just... inside your grocery yeah, cart. Yeah, yeah. Are you a? Uh, I don't. I was. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, uh, is that a? I'm sorry. Is that a decapitated head? <laughs> it looks like it. Yeah. I now I'm questioning myself because I heard a voice say this was the clue. Wait, wait, wait. Did you say jacket? Yeah, I'm looking for a jacket. I got a clue for you. <laughs> Damn it. Yes. 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 What yes, the hell yes, in her voice? Yes, I didn't yes, have yes. to pick up that head at all. It's <laughs> just, just delayed things. Gross. No, I'm complicit in this. <laughs> God. Okay, what's the clue? It's a jacket. It is. Is this it? Well, I don't know. Is this into the jacket? It's got blood all over it. <sighs> Let's go talk to Martha. <laughs> Martha! Knock, yeah. knock. Hi. Hey, first of all, thanks for leaving my party early <laughs> and going to a party under a bridge. Second of all, here's your jacket that you've been sending me on a quest to look for. Oh, great. Thank you. Thank you. Um... Oh, God, this is weird, but um, did you did you happen to run in a, in, into a guy outside the club? The club was, was just club. dancing. I was dancing with this guy all night, and he was so cute. We had such a good connection. Um, I mustache. don't know. Uh oh, did he yeah, have long he hair? Mustache. Yeah, yeah, he was so cute, and he said he was gonna hang out for a while. I don't know. I just thought maybe he'd come back looking for me. Uh, Josh handled- held his head. <laughs> what? Oh, Morkel! <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. What the fuck, Markle? Sorry. I what? Just, that was a long hair guy and you were holding his head, so... You held his head? It was a decapitated head. I thought it was one of the clues. Hey, what the hell? Was my party not fun enough for you or something? <laughs> you no, of course it wasn't the- fun enough. I orchestrated this entire quest for you to give me my jacket back. It was so boring. I have a lot of... Wor- what was boring about my party? We were... <laughs> there wasn't a quest. <laughs> Everybody needs a quest. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, enjoy your jacket. Your friend is dead. I held his head. Um, Morkel is an elf or a dwarf. Dwarf. Uh, might mm-hmm. not be because I still I think it's the truth telling one. But also, it's just a child I'm watching. So anyways. Okay. Well, either way, I'm not thrilled with you. So. I, what are you talking about? It wasn't didn't work I, very hard. I got you your whole jacket back. I it got an argument with an ogre at a jacket at the back. Josh. Oh, there's more. Well, where's the other one? I didn't take the other one. You gotta find the other one. I am not. <laughs> oh, sidecar. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, wow. I cannot wait to see Martha's artistic improv show. This is going to be really good. This is going to be something very cool. Oh, yes. Very cool. She Hmm. works at the art museum, so she must be making good art on stage. Yeah. So, I guess Um, this is the theater. This is the theater. theater. (laughs) Not a lot of pizzazz or... Not high ceilings. Yes. Not a high ceiling. Got to backstage. Do you have anybody coming to the show? Oh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I told my coworkers about it, but um, I, I don't know if they came. Are there oh, yeah. people out there? Uh, there's a couple of... Is it three Germans? <laughs> I don't there's know if they're German. Germans out there? <laughs> See, yeah. she... Scare them. <laughs> what? Throw something in their direction. If they yell like Germans, we'll know. <laughs> okay. Uh... Yeah, throw something at them. <laughs> uh, Doblerone ball. Nine. <laughs> yeah, that's German. them. Those are my coworkers. The German. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> cool. That's okay. exciting. All right. They, well, they good laughers? No, 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 no. <laughs> they're not. No. Oh. No, their laughs are very scary. 
Okay. Anything you don't want us to touch on? Sometimes when my parents are in town, it's like, let's not do any, you know, yeah. uh, oral sex jokes or anything. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, I don't know. Just try not to make fun of Germans. Yeah. Just, just I, try your hardest. Are there any more people out there? <laughs> I invited some people from my support group. Just throw the Tobler on again. <laughs> Throw another Tobler on. If it if it <laughs> if it hits one of them and they yell really loud, he's a burn victim. Okay, we're gonna have to avoid that too. I feel it. Okay, but I only have one Tobler on left, and I don't <laughs> usually like to eat three before the show. <laughs> yeah. Ah, so much pain. That was him. Okay, okay. No burning it, jokes. I, I no burning are, jokes. Are they a laugher? Hmm. Is he a laugher? <laughs> Half of them, no. It's a very serious crew. Is that that support okay. group? Yeah. Okay. So no jokes about wood? No jokes about wood. Because you have that one girl, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, mm-hmm. the splinter Sally. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. No making fun of Germans. I, I, guys, I like this as a pre-show ritual, just talking about what we can't talk about on stage. Yeah. I think it's yeah. good. Helps me get in the zone. Uh, to bury the hatchet with some uh, customers I offended at the airport. Mm. I invited them to my improv show. So uh, jokes about mobility devices. Wheelchairs? Yeah, no, definitely not wheel. Well, I don't know about wheelchairs, uh, but no segways. No oh, okay. All hoverboards. Right. Sure. Uh, big inflatable balls with uh, unicorn heads. Mm. Gators, yeah, yeah, yeah. dogs, robots. <sighs> Welcome to the stage, the fart police. <laughs> when did we change our name? <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being on the Meet Improv. Uh, yeah, thank you oh, both yeah. for coming Thanks on. Thanks for having me. This is great. Um, let's go around and plug stuff. Uh, what would you like to plug? Um, I guess just my Herald Team Pony or Protect Our Nation's Youth. Um, playing on Herald Night at UCB. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh, and my UCB mess hall team, Woodson, uh, at uh, the theater as well, or <laughs> my name.com has oh. everything I'm doing. Oops. <laughs> Lauren com. There you go. What about, don't you have a movie? Oh, Ooh. I made a show about being a Segway tour guide. It's called Segs and it's on Amazon Prime. So also there's that. Oh, hey, awesome. yeah, that's there's awesome. Is it? Uh, Jake? uh, check out We're Gross with Gilly the third Thursday of the month at UCB Franklin and Mondo Green also on Herald Light. I met Mr. Josh Simpson on Twitter. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter as well. Uh, we're going to Europe. We're cooking some stuff up. Ooh, That's right. Okay. Iceland and mm-hmm. Germany, both yes. Berlin wow. and Munich. So check out uh, all of our social stuff. We'll have the information for that eventually. Probably by now it'll be up. Yeah. But, uh, we're trying to hit a couple more places in the UK, so... Maybe Scotland. Was in Scotland, yeah, that's part of it. <laughs> Germans uh, don't like improv, so well, yeah. <laughs> hopefully, I'll find some that do. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for listening. We'll see you next time on the beat, the beat, improv. Audio podcast. For more information and shows, visit boardwalkaudio.com. Don't forget to rate and subscribe now.